Hello, welcome to another Zimorph Casual Chat series. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about how to switch the machine into CNC mode and do some milling in plywood. To do that, I'm going to switch this machine to uh, milling workflow. I do that by reconfiguring all the accessories and tool heads. I'll start with removing the cover. Uh, that's not going to be uh, required at the moment. Uh, I also need to remove the fans and the extruder. Uh, that's all quite easy to do. Then uh, remove the table, pull it up. It's mounted magnetically, so it's very easy to remove it. And we're going to switch it with this plywood table that just slides in here. And that's just it. Uh, before we start, uh, we need to make sure that our CNC tool head um, is configured so it, there's 50 millimeters distance between this plate and the end of the milling bit. Uh, that ensures that it's compatible with configuration of um, all the other tool heads, um, height wise. To initiate the workflow, we need to go to settings, uh, change tool head, and select CNC Pro. Uh, after that, it's good to go to Machine Servicing and click Home to Center. When we do that, we see the tool head will go uh, to the middle and move slowly to uh, the base of the plate. If we experience that it's moving too fast or it's getting too close, we can always pause it or even uh, reset the machine to recalibrate. As you can see, uh, the the height of it should be as close to the plate as possible. Now I'm going to show you how to install the material. Uh, it's quite simple, we click the machine servicing and click bed cleaning and removal so the table goes in front and then we can uh, stick the uh, adhesive. The table is prepared, the material is prepared, so let's go and open Voxelize. Okay, so we're connecting to the machine, changing the workflow to 2D milling and we can see a preview of the material that is on the table and we can see the warning that says that our tool head is too low. Um, what does it mean? It means that we can unintentionally um, collide with the material. To uh, get rid of that warning we have to go to Gco display tab and raise the tool head up so it just goes up, up until it's above the material. Uh, actually to determine the exact position of the material. Let's go to the middle and then we need to lower it step by step observing the uh, end of the milling bit until it touches. We're just gonna go down a little then we're looking here and uh, that's where we need to type the real height of the uh, material top surface. Now let's add some text. Uh, here we have a small tool that allows that and we can just write C and C. Okay, let's scale it up a bit and then move it to the middle. Uh, that's pretty much alright. Yeah, like this. And using parameters here I can play with this text. Let's see what we get by default. Click generate drill paths. That's what we get by default, it's just simply a line. But what we can add, for example, is the um, infill, hatching type, inside. Uh, that all depends on your milling bit and other settings. We clear the previous G code and then we get that. Milling paths are shown in green color. Let's do it. Spindle on. Before we start, Let's raise it up a little, just to make sure it doesn't touch the material yet, and then we click play. Of course, this is one of the simplest examples possible. Uh, make sure you try more complex ones. So this was CNC cutting. If you want to find out more, uh, check our knowledge base, and that was it. So, see you next time.